This is what we call black top cookies. Black top cookies is uncompressed virgin hot mix. And how you get black top cookies is a couple of different ways. First of all, usually black top cookies are generated when material becomes unworkable in the vehicle that you're pulling it in. Second, you can get it when at the end of the season when the asphalt plant is shutting down, bring it back to your yard, lay it out, stockpile it, and now you have hot mix that you can recycle in the box. This is called wrap, which is compressed hot mix that has been in the roadway and you've pulled out from doing utility repair areas or recuts. And last is what we call millings and grindings. And millings and grindings are usually generated when you are doing overlays of roads and you're doing many road miles. At the end of the day when you come into the yard what you will do is you'll choose one of those three types of materials that we showed you earlier. The black top cookies, the wrap, or the millings and grindings. You'll load the box and prep the material that you've chosen, then go through the six step process. With that being said, I'm going to now tell you about the piece of equipment we brought here today to do the demonstration with the Michigan Department of Transportation. This is a four ton trailer unit dump option as you have already seen. It is triple wall constructed and it is user friendly. The process for recycling is very simple. The very first thing the end user would like to do and needs to do is prep the material and load the box. Once the box is loaded, close the box back up, drive around to your fuel tanks in your facility, top the fuel tank off, that's step two. Step three, park it outside of a building. Step four, once you have your extension cord plugged into a 110 outlet, you now take that extension cord the 110 outlet on the trailer frame rail. This activates the marine grade battery charger and also the 24 hour timer. Step five, turn the hopper switch to the on position, wait for it to go through its checks systems. Once it has done that, set your digital controller to the temperature for the material that you're recycling. And step six, come back to your 24 hour timer Set it for the proper time of day. Set your trip pin to the position that you want it to trip on at. And then turn the on off switch in the 24 hour timer box to the off position. Let's review. Step one, load and prep the material if necessary. Step two, once loaded, close the upper loading doors and top off the fuel tank. Step three, park it outside of the building. Step four, plug in the extension cord to the 110 outlet on the patcher and to a working 110 outlet on the building. Step five, turn the hopper switch to the on position. Set your digital controller to the temperature desired Step six, set the 24 hour timer to the proper time of day. Set the on trip pin to the position where you want it to turn on at. And last, turn off the switch to the off position in the 24 hour timer box. Let me tell you a little bit about Falcon. Falcon manufactures trailer units in two, three, and four ton models. And the three and four ton models, we generally will make them a dump option if so desired. Let me show you how that works. This is an electric over hydraulic. Very simple operation. It will raise up to a 45 degree angle. And if, when you're using it with hot mix, 
or cold mix, it'll flow right out of the back of the box because the box is gravity fed design. Falcon also manufactures slip-in models in two, five, and six ton sizes. The five and six ton sizes can also be made into roll-off units or hook lift system units. If you have further questions, go to the website www.falconrme.com or call the office phone number of 989-495 9332 and asks for sales.